Hello friends, I Dhaira Bhatia welcome you to my YouTube channel Maths DNA from origin to infinity. In this video, we are going to discuss a question of linear algebra for the examination of CSR net mathematics. But before that, let me share something with you. We believe that to qualify four different exams, you just need to follow our one single book. For more details about this, you can register on our WhatsApp number given below. Now, moving on to the question. As I said earlier, the question is from the topic of linear algebra and it is a very important question from the examination point of view because it is based on vector space as well as the subspaces. Now, let us go through the question once. The question says that let V be a vector space of all 3 cross 3 matrices with complex entries over the real field. Here the word complex entries over the real field is very important. Also two W1 and W2 are defined as W1 equals to A belongs to the vector space V such that A equals to A complement transpose and W2 equals to A belongs to V such that trace of A equals to 0. Then the dimension of W1 plus W2 is the options are given to us as A17, B18, C19 and D20. Firstly, I recommend you to pause the video over here and try this question by yourself. Now, how will you do that? First, define the vector space V. Find A, then define W1, W2 and then we will find W1 plus W2. Firstly, A is given to us as the set of complex entries over the real field. So A will be defined as A11 plus IB11 up to A33 plus IB33. The entries are from the field of real numbers. This gives us that the dimension of V as A belongs to V will be 18. There are total 18 entries in the whole A. Now, for W1 which says that A belongs to V such that A equals to A complement transpose. We already have A so we find A complement transpose that will be as A11 minus IB11, A12 minus IB12 up to A33 minus IB33. Now for W1 we put A equals to A complement transpose that gives us that A11 plus IB11 should be equals to A11 minus IB11 which implies that B11 equals to 0 an element on the diagonal. Similarly the B22 and B33 will also be equals to 0. Now the value above the diagonals and below the diagonal. From the above matrix only we get that A12 plus IB12 equals to A21 minus IB21. This simplifies to A12 equals to A21 and B12 equals to minus B21 which further implies that Aij equals to Aji and Bij equals to minus Bji. This gives us our required A for W1 which has total 9 different entries. So dimension of W1 equals to 9 or we can say 9 independent entries. Now similarly we find W2 W2 is defined as A belongs to V such that trace of A equals to 0. We already have our A and now adding them all that is A11 plus A22 plus A33 should be equals to 0 which implies that any one element is dependent. How is this? You can take any value of A11 and A22. As I take but I can take A3 which has to be dependent on A11 and A22. Suppose A11 is 1 and A22 is also 1 then I can take A33 as minus 2 that will sum up to 0. Similarly for B11 plus B22 plus B33 equals to 0 any one element will be dependent. You can take two elements to be independent. The last one will sum them all to 0. Thus we got that two elements will be dependent from all the 18 elements to so dimension of W2 equals to 16. Now dimension of W1 intersection W2 will be 8. You can easily find this. 
and as I said, we can also demonstrate it by taking a11 equals to minus a2 to minus a33, then w1 intersection w2 will have dimension 8. Similarly, we can do for b11, b22, and b33. Thus, dimension of w1 plus w2 will be equal to dimension of w1 plus dimension of w2 minus dimension w1 intersection w2 which sums up to 9 plus 16 minus 8 and which is equals to 17 that is our option a the required answer thank you now one question for your practice from the topic of complex analysis the question is let f from c to c be an analytic except for a single pole at z equals to 0 and let g be from again c to c be an analytic then the value of residue of z tends to 0 fz gz upon residue of z tends to 0 fz is and the options are a g0 b g dash 0 c limit z tends to 0 fz and d limit z tends to 0 fz into gz comment your answer below in the comment box and solution of this question will be provided in the next video till then you can be a member of our social club and watch 520 plus videos on our YouTube channel and get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam from our WhatsApp group.